Welcome to Clubhouse Shorts. In this video, we're going to dive into the wonderful world of using your sample player as a wavetable VCO. And in my example, I'm going to be using the Tip Top Audio One, um, but I'm assuming you can do the exact same thing with any other sample player as well. Um, other technologies I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using Synthesis Technology Wave Edit to design our wave shapes and I'm going to be using Audacity. Well, Audacity I've used in several of my other videos before, so I'm going to link to those below and above here and I will also include a link on where you can download Synthesis Technology Wave Edit and um, I'm going to quickly show you how you can use it. So right now we're looking at a wave edit and as you can see you can actually start and design your own wave shapes just by clicking and just dragging and drawing whatever kind of wave shape you want. So this is of course really fun to do uh, but you, we also have several out of the box waveforms you might say. So this is going to create a wave shape that is 256 samples long and in my case the Tip Top Audio 1 needs to have samples of at least 1024 samples long so we can so we need to repeat it four times that's where audacity comes in. So uh, I'm just going to create something fun something recognizable so I'm going to grab a glitch, a doo -doo 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 -doo, an incomplete sine wave. So as you can see, this goes up first and then goes down, but doesn't really connect to the other one. And once the other thing that we can use is, well, we also have a fun free FM one. Can also say I want to use well. I'm just I'm just going to use the uh, the frequency modulated one. This one, I think that looks really nice. Then I go to uh, edit save wave file as yeah untitled dot wave. That's fine. And I'm also going to create another one with a square. I'm going to save that as well. Here we go. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to open these in Audacity. So let me just open that up. Open with Audacity. I did that on another screen, that's the reason why you didn't see that. Here we go. So this is the frequency modulated one. So I'm just gonna select all with Control A, copy it with Control C, go to the end and Control V it. Do it another, another time, go to the end and do it again. So now I can confirm that it's 1,024 samples long. There you go, 1,024. There you have it. And then we can just export this as wave. And I'm gonna put that on my SD card and call that FM. Okay. Then I'm going to open up the square wave. And if you want to know how to prepare your SD card, look at my previous video on the Tip Top Audio 1 and how you prepare your own samples for it and what kind of things you need to do with it. So here we have the whole thing. Control C, go to the end, one, go to the end, three, go to the end, four, and export that as wave call that square there you go so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to switch over to my to my rack so I'll be right back 
so me. let's give this a try right so I've got the uh, SD card we just prepared here I'm just gonna put that into the tip top audio one I'm gonna power up the machine and connect this directly to the audio so this is the connection directly to my audio interface so what we can now do is if we take a look at the oscilloscope if I play this sample hey that already looks like the frequency modulated sample we did and that looks well <laughs> a lot like a square wave as well right so um, how about we turn this into a looping sample player so I'm gonna hold down the play button and just turn this knob here until it starts blinking red like that and if we now press that button it's gonna play that until we do something else with the module there we go so that's our square wave which we can of course frequency pitch that's great if we do that for the other one the frequency modulated wave that we have and the other thing we can do is we can grab my trusty key step 37 and chuck that into the cv and say okay well let's play something won't win me any uh, <laughs> any any prizes but at least we uh, can see that it works so let's disconnect this and um, let's go back to the studio and wrap this up shall we so what did we see in today's video we saw how easy it is to design your own wave shapes in wave edit how you can actually draw them how you can use preloaded ones how you can then customize them we also saw how you can then well prepare those samples for use on your sample player uh, in audacity and of course today i've been using the tip top audio one sample player and one of the key features that sets it apart from the rest of the of the of the pack is its responsiveness so if you want to achieve the same thing with your sample player you need to make sure that it's capable of looping your samples and it has that responsiveness as well so give that a try if you've got any questions drop a comment down below or just drop me a line directly um, and in other good news we have hit a hundred subscribers we're up to 117 right now so I'm uh, doing some giveaways so just drop me a line at giveaway at the modular clubhouse dot nl and um, give me your uh, your mailing address and that could be either stickers it could be socks it could be uh, a t-shirt whatever you want I'll post some pictures of the goodies I've got on uh, on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter so if you want to uh, know what you're getting yourself into you could have a look there and I would say well I hope everyone enjoyed this video I hope everyone thought it was um, it was a meaningful addition to our ever-growing library of videos and for now I would say please stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you on my next video take care cheers